God in the flesh, dwelt among men, sinful, selfish, deceitful men. Have you ever stopped to consider this? Do you know what a wonder it is? The king of the universe came down to this earth through virgin birth to remove the curse of the power of sin and give us a chance to be born again. He chose to live in poverty, in spite of his royalty, from a mighty throne to a humble home. This is God we're talking about. He took the downward route from the place of paradise to be a sacrifice where no one else could. God decided that he would, not because he should, but because he's good. It's because of his goodness that he would do this, even though his justice shouldn't permit it. We deserve damnation, but he grants us salvation. God knew our helpless condition, that we were dead in our sin. He could have left us to die, turn away his eyes, just like we've done to him. But he went out on a limb, no, more like a tree, so he could set us free. What a mystery! How can this be? God died for us, the ones whose name we cuss. The world called him distant, so we came to bridge the gap, to make a covenant, give us a road map, so we know where we're going. And if we're growing, and the good ground of his word, this word became flesh in the form of Jesus our Lord. He lived in a body and ate fish. God became a man. So we can understand the pain this world brings, the minor note it sings, how it hurts, how it stings, and the ache of life clings. In a manger in a tiny town he lay, not a place you'd imagine a king to be, not a noble place to stay, isn't something you normally see. He didn't have to, but he chose to. Can't you see how much God loves you? Can you trust that he'll see you through? You might be overcome by pain, but when you look to him, you won't be the same. Remember this when you hear his name, the very fact that he came, that he lived in a body of man and died in a humiliating way by the hands of sinful man, that he did so for our sake, should convince you of his love, that it reaches far above any hurt you face. What amazing grace! God lived as a man and died as a criminal. For you, for me, for any who will call on his name, he has paved the way where there was no way and invites us in through heaven's gates. How radical, how beautiful that the Lord of all came down for the sinful.